This is Twitter, often regarded as one of the worst social medias to ever exist, riddled with bots, engagement bait, but most importantly, people that have the stupid. So how do you fix people that have the stupid? Well, simple. You make them take an IQ test when they create their account. I just dropped like a 150 milligram edible and uh, I'm feeling f***ing zooted. So since Twitter would never do that, I now have to make my own social media. We'll call it Linter. A tweet is a lint. Tweeting is linting. Buy the domain. Make a logo. Make a design concept. And snap my fingers to turn it into code. Basically you got the navigation on the left side, the feed in the middle, and the comments on the right. The first thing we need is the ability to actually post stuff. Twitter limits your tweets to 280 characters, so I did the same. It kinda makes sense, since it's a microblogging social media. By the way, we're gonna ignore the fact that the entire Twitter brand was ditched in exchange of X. That didn't happen, it was a social experiment. Tweets and Linter are called lints, and just like Twitter, you can read lint stuff, which essentially means you're replying to a post with a standalone post rather than a comment. Next stop is the profile page, but before designing it, we need a way to create an account. How to make a login system tutorial. Step 1. Add GitHub login. Step 2. Realize not everyone is a stinky nerd and swap GitHub for email login. Step 3. Realize you have to set up an SMTP server for emails or pay 25 bucks a month and swap it for Discord login. Basically your attempts to create alt accounts goes to Discord and I am able to not give up. Moving on, after that I added 20 questions which would result in an IQ test in the range of minus 52 and 198. It's not a traditional IQ test, but it measures how chronically online you are, like the question asking how many people you recognize from the picture Mr. Beast posted with a bunch of YouTubers, or the one asking how many hours a day you scroll short form content. How brain rotted you are, like the question asking if you recognize the audio people use in TikToks. If you are wholly based and have played the holy game called Age of War. How well you do basic logic, like math questions ranging from simple to complex. And some other questions like if you have a degree in computer science, which gives you negative IQ if you answer yes. And the question that measures how fast you type. I could go over every question, but that would spoil everything. I recommend you try taking the test yourself after the video. I will say this though. The I have no f***ing idea option is the right answer here. I just pasted random shapes. Anyway, the login page is now done, so now we need an actual profile page. I added a new button on the navigation tab, which redirects you to linter.com slash your username. The page will show your username, handle, IQ, about me, account creation date, and below all that, a list of all the links you've made. And because Twitter made the likes page on profiles private, that decision was reverted in Linter. You now view what links other people have liked. Also, if you haven't noticed, the IQ is now visible on every post. Now, to allow you to create an empire of people following your work, we need a follower system. Basically, people you follow will show up in the following tab and more frequently on your follow page. You can now follow or unfollow people, see if they follow you, see their following and followers list, and hear me out, the most revolutionary concept, searching through the follow list. Yup, the feature that's probably gonna be used by 3 people at max that I spend way too much time on. Another important feature of any social media is having an opinion on post. It's not Twitter if you cannot comment the most brain dead combination of characters the human brain can put together. So I added the ability to reply to a lint. When you click on a comment, their hierarchy gets shown at the top. Also, you can now copy links to lints. The navigation bar was looking kinda empty, so I added the feature for searching through lints. There are no filters or sorting or even the ability to search profiles, but it takes space on the navigation bar which is very cool and makes the site look better. I think. Do you know that dopamine hit you get when you see the notification icon with a number on it? Well, now you have notifications for when someone likes your lint, comments on your lint, or follows you. Introducing the innovation of the 21st century, the new tab. Are you craving for something new? Simply seeing in real time what other people are linting. The For You page is prehistoric technology at this point. Get real. But speaking of the For You page, let me briefly explain the algorithm. Basically it goes in this order. The posts you haven't seen, the posts from people you follow, the posts with the most likes, and the posts that were posted in less than 24 hours. I added the ability to load more links in the feed when you scroll to the bottom. Also I forgot to mention that everything I post gets shown at the top of the feed for everyone. I will make sure to use this power responsibly. Now, if you also want to create algorithms that work in your favor to spread unfunny memes, lucky for you, we have Brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of interactive lessons in data analytics, math, programming, and AI. Each lesson is packed with hands-on problem solving where you learn by doing instead of memorizing. You can learn to build programs right in your browser with a drag and drop editor, and learn the core fundamentals such as conditionals, loops, and variables. A great feature of Brilliant is the emphasis on building a daily learning habit. The platform offers bite-sized lessons that you can complete in a few minutes each day, making it easy to fit learning into your busy schedule. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org/facedev or click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% of an annual premium subscription. 
Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. An essential part in any social media is the ability to share memes. If you cannot share memes, it's all boring text. I added the file upload button when you post a link and it asks you for a JPEG or a PNG file. No videos or GIFs for now. Actually, quick update, GIFs are now supported. Uh, yeah, that's the entire thing. Let's get back to the video. This shit runs with no ads and the server I have has like 60 gigabytes left. So because of that, I compress every image upload by 30% and I'm also limiting uploads at 8 megabytes and I'm also turning every image in a WebP file. Obviously, there's no Twitter without the most hideous profiles that make the data traveling through fiber optic cables regret coming in contact with you. Since we already have image uploading, making avatars changeable was pretty easy. Also, this is the default avatar. You can now delete your lint and report other posts or profiles, which then get sent to the admin chat where we can choose to delete the lint, ban the user or ignore the report. And also, you can now get verified on linter if you have more than 10k followers on a social media of choice. The verified status will not boost you in the algorithm, it's simply there to help people distinguish between fake and real accounts. And obviously, we now have to add the privacy policy and the terms of service. The privacy policy basically goes like this. I store information that being the handle username bio yada yada i use that information to give you feed recommendations and shit and i can also sell your information to ad agency for money and shit no just kidding and for the terms of service we've got by using linter you agree to whatever i say in the tos you must be at least 13 years old to use a linter you are the one responsible for protecting your account no impersonation no i don't give a f about a little mask parody account scraping data is not allowed i can ban your account for any reason and i am not liable for any damages great we can now release Linter in beta, shortly after the beta release. A new account posting pictures of Gary appeared and went viral. Someone attempted to cancel Gary on Linter in a now deleted Discord message and deleted Lind. Gary was unstoppable. Now Gary has 30 followers and over 40 pictures posted. The slogan expressed by the community is Gary is love, Gary is life. Anyway, a member of the Discord community, which you should totally join, was then cancelled in a post with 10 likes, uh, 9 relins and 8 comments for playing TF2. Uh, then a picture of if an egg went viral, uh, people started in doing cringe lint threads, I ratioed someone and a bunch of bugs are fixed. A day later I made the code public so I can tell anyone to fix the issues they report themselves, accidentally pushed an undefined variable into production which made a bunch of people unable to create an account, oopsie, and that's basically the beta launch. Apparently I wasn't following the GDPR or whatever the fuck Europe has for data protection because I didn't have an option for you to delete your account, so in order to not have my country geographically extinguished from the European continent, I took the time to write the most hideous code to delete any trace of your existence on my platform. Just when I thought everything was finally working, someone named Albert Einstein got 125,065 IQ. I'm not even making this up. Apparently that's because I was limiting the positive values that the server receives for questions like uh, how many people do you recognize in this picture, but I wasn't limiting the negative numbers. So you could simply modify the data sent to make it seem like you know minus 1 million people in this picture, and since minus with minus is plus, it would add 1 million IQ to your account. This has been fixed now, but I kept the person's IQ to 125k for the funds. Huge thanks to G Studios X2 for making the website work on mobile. Like seriously, this thing looks better on mobile than desktop now. Almost as if I'm not as good of a front-end developer as I thought. Anyway. Also huge thanks to Linker for helping me set up Docker for image uploading and getting the site up. You can follow him on GitHub if you want. Thanks to all the people that reported bugs and made pull requests. Uh, since so many people were confused about the dark mode, I am now legally obligated to tell you that you can click on the logo to switch light and dark mode. I thought that was clever, but people didn't re realize that. Well. Yeah. Follow me on Linter or something, uh, subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Uh, you can try Linter right now at linter.com for completely free. No ads, no subscriptions. Please don't spam or TDOS the platform. A big thanks to all the patrons and YouTube members for supporting the channel. Thanks for actually I got some bonus footage, so it's not the end of the video. Taking an IQ test before making my own. Mineral can be spelled using only the letters found in the word. Um, oh. Uh, I will explain in JavaScript terms. You have a string, you split it by nothing, just uh, <laughs> Good by idea. letters. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So. Mineral. Mineral. Split. Bro, not, not like that. Why are you putting an array? Yeah. And wasn't there something like every? Uh, for each, for each, for each, for each. For each. Parliament dot includes letter. Yeah. So if everything this prints will be true. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. This this is how we pass IQ test. Uh, yep. Oh, the timer started. Oh, hell no. The sequence of four words. Triangle, gloves, gloves. There's no timer. No, do not. <laughs> do not there. If Gary has only four... 48 dollars 
Can you not use numbers? If he borrows $57 from Jane and $15 from Jill, dude, I'm just gonna say true and get out. If around analog clock, this is like English grammar test. How is this testing my. No. Yes? Yes. Don't tell me there's another 10 questions. Oh my god, there is. How long is this? Maybe I shouldn't have the timer. Each of the words auction, education, ca caution uses the same letters. Uh huh? Do it with JavaScript. You gotta uh, do it yeah, with JavaScript. Yeah. X for each. Our loops are faster, by the way. Shut the f up. <laughs> I deleted the clock. Time doesn't matter. That's how HTML works. And so we have the letters. Bro, this feels like lead code on budget. No, 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 no. no. no what no. are you doing? Let me do it. <laughs> that is inefficient. You should ha use a hash set. You should not do three or loops in one. I can oh and I will. I need to split A B C D E no, F E H I J K L M N O P Q R S E Y E W X Y. Let's run it. Yes. True. Everything is true. This is how you solve the ah. two tests. Three cats. Five legs. So it's eighteen plus eight plus twelve is 20, thirty-eight. Okay. It says next and then finish. If there are 30 more questions. Okay, you know what? False, true, true. Just, just do it with months. My friend will, will be smarter than you. Fine. I'm telling you. Fine, fine, fine. If it's over 0. 0.5, it's true. If it's below, it's false. True. Yeah. False. False. True. False. 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 True. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it's the final <laughs> yeah. one. You're close, you're close. False. false. Oh, that is a close, close one. Oh, no, that's false. false. The gods are speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop timer. Stop timer. Faster. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. They're gonna send you a subscription, I'm telling you. They're not gonna send you the results. Oh, oh. 98. 998. <laughs>